not just for carabiners and not just for two dimensions. DMM's hubs are versatile platforms for true three-dimensional rigging. Available in two different sizes, the hubs function well on the ground and the loft. The hub will simplify coordination of textiles and hardware involved in a basal anchor system. Or build a ground-based equalizing or floating system with no hardware other than the hub itself. Installation of running rope is also an option. While rigging with balancers, the ability to connect the slings directly to the hub maintains proper configuration of the system, whether the balancing takes place in two dimensions or three dimensions. With plenty of options for auxiliary connections. Tag lines may be connected via carabiner, a direct rope connection, a running rope for increased mechanical advantage while hauling or positioning, and of course almost any combination is possible. Speed line and trolley systems require multiple components and oftentimes hardware and textiles need to be organized in a single location. The hubs allow separate parts of the system to work together while maintaining the proper configuration of each. In a complex rigging system, the hubs will reduce the amount of hardware required while opening doors to new configurations. A highline positioning system. Here is a hauling rope with a prusik as a progress capture device. Direct connection of the prusik eliminates misconfiguration that may occur with a hardware interface. The variety of configurations made possible with the hubs are almost limitless. These two highline systems are nearly identical. Can you spot the differences? Here's the hub as a floating anchor with direct rope connections to two positioning anchor points. The climbing line is run through the center of the hub. Here the climber has elected to route the climbing line tail through a pinto pulley, creating a hauling and slack management system. The carabiner and pinto pulley do not interfere with the running rope. A true three-dimensional floating anchor. The pinto pulley is connected to an equalizing sling so that the entire system is free to adjust. Notice that the orientation of the hub may change based on the climber's position. Load distribution among anchoring lines may also be affected. Place a revolver carabiner in the pinto's becket to reroute the climbing line tail if desired. Again, notice the movement in anchor lines and hub as the climber moves about. When necessary, a redundant system or backup line can be connected directly to the becket of the pinto. The climber is now secured with two ropes and the anchoring system is still free to adjust as necessary.